Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to part one of this month's Trends and Fads lesson. Today we'll start reading from a lesson entitled Food Delivery, an easy and popular way to get food. Jeff, there's nothing I like more than food. Oh, you're a foodie. <laughs> That's right. I love to eat. Here's the thing though. I don't like to cook uh -huh, uh -huh. and I don't like going out to restaurants either. Uh -huh. So what can a person like me do? How can I get, um, how can I eat delicious food at home without cooking? Hmm. <gasps> the answer is food delivery. It sounds like you already knew the answer <laughs> to that question, but hey, it sounds good to me. If you're like Hanny, food delivery is a good idea. Also, let's say you're at home and you're hungry, but it's raining outside, huh? huh? In that situation, food delivery is definitely a good idea because you won't have to go outside That's in right. the rain. Mm. That's right. Speaking of which, in part one of our lesson, two friends, Jerome and Monica, will be getting some food delivered because of rainy weather. Cool, huh? Hmm. huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, everyone, it's now time to get started. Let's take a look at today's vocabulary. Then we'll start reading from a conversation between Jerome and Monica. 好，今天要来看一段关于美食外送的对话。对话里面的主角 Jerome 跟 Monica 在家里，外面正在下雨。然后 Jerome 肚子饿了，家里又没有食物，他们又不想出门。于是呢，就决定要用 A B C Meals 这个美食外送平台点餐。好 ，order order 这个单字当动词就表示点餐。像餐厅里面的服务生可能会问说 ，Are you ready to order? Are you ready to order? 你准备好要点餐了吗？好 ，Jerome 他们查了一下附近店家的菜单，发现呢有他最爱的饺子店。Jerome 说他已经饿到可以吃下五十颗水饺了。他们就决定要点水饺，还有一些汤。这边来看三个单字 ，menu，menu menu, 就是菜单，它是一个名词。例如 ，May I see the dessert menu, please? May I see the dessert menu, please? 我可以看一下甜点的菜单吗？下一个单字 ，dumpling，dumpling dumpling 是指饺子、水饺，它是一个名词。例如 ，I ordered ten dumplings and a bowl of hot and sour soup. I ordered ten dumplings and a bowl of hot and sour soup. 我点了十个水饺和一碗酸辣汤。哦，想到就肚子饿。那刚刚的例句刚好有用到第四个单字 ，soup。Soup 就是汤，它是一个名词。The soup tastes salty and spicy. The soup tastes salty and spicy. 嗯，这个汤喝起来又咸又辣。好，现在已经看完单字例句，我们来看课文吧。Jerome and Monica are at home on a rainy night. I am starving, but there is no food in the house. Sorry, but I'm not going out in this rain. I know. Let's get ABC Meals to deliver food to us. Explanation one. Welcome back to part one of this month's trends and fads. This month's topic is food delivery. The title of our lesson is "Food Delivery: An Easy and Popular Way to Get Food." 同学们有使用过 Food Panda 或是 Uber Eats 等等的餐饮外送服务吗？我们这一次的 Trends and Fats 课程就是关于美食外送。那这边补充一下 ，deliver 这个动词呢，它表示递送、运送，在字尾加上 y 就会变成名词 delivery， 表示运送。OK， today Jerome and Monica are our stars. They will be doing the talking. 
Now, at the beginning of our lesson, we learned that Jerome and Monica are at home on a rainy night. Mm. <sighs> it's raining outside. Yes, it's raining outside. It's a rainy night. Hey there, Teacher Daphne. Tell us all about rainy nights in the first grammar note of today's lesson. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 on a rainy night， 意思是在一个下雨的晚上。一般来说，在晚上的英文是 at night， 但如果是某一个特别的晚上，则介系词要用 on。例如 on Friday night。在星期五晚上 ，on a holiday night， 在假日晚上 ，on a starry night， 在满天星星的晚上。至于 on a rainy night， 就是在一个下雨的晚上。Rainy 是名词 ，rain 雨的形容词，意思是下雨的。例如 ，a lonely man walked down the street on a rainy night. 雨夜里，一名寂寞的男子走在街头。Okay, let's hear from Jerome and Monica. Good idea. Jerome kicks off today's dialogue by saying, "Oh, I'm starving." Oh, 对话里面 Jerome 的第一句话就是说我超饿的。How starve 这个动词表示饿死或是挨饿。那在口语中，我们常用 be 动词加 starving 来指饥饿的。他说 I am starving， 就是我超饿的，我饿扁了。Okay, Jerome is hungry.、Mm. However, there's nothing to eat in the house. That's such bad news. Bad, bad luck for poor. Jerome.、Mm, he says, "There is no food in the house."、Mm -hmm. That's what he said. All right, there is no food in the house.、Hmm. I believe that Teacher Daphne will be discussing this phrase in the second of today's grammar notes. 第二则文法是 "There is no" 加名词。意思是没有点点点。There is 的意思是有 ，no 则是形容词，没有的意思。合在一起 ，there is no 加名词就是没有点点点。由于 is 是单数动词，因此后方的名词必须是不可数名词。例如 ，There is no tea in the pot. 茶壶里没有茶。这里的 t 茶就是不可数名词。此外 ，is 也可以搭配可数名词单数型。例如 ，There is no quiz today. 今天没有考试。Quiz 考试是可数名词单数型。And we're back. Jerome is hungry, but there's nothing to eat at home. Also. Remember that it is raining outside.、Mm, yes, it is. Monica has not forgotten this. She says, "Sorry, but I'm not going out in this rain." That means if Jerome wants to go to a restaurant, he'll have to go alone. Right. So, what are they going to do? Jerome knows the answer. I know, he says. Let's get A B C meals to deliver food to us. <laughs> what a good idea! <laughs> you know what else is also a good idea? Hearing from Teacher Daphne once again. 第三则文法是 A gets B to 加原形动词。意思是 A 使 B 做某事。Get 在这里是使让的意思。三态是 get, got, gotten。如果要使后方的受词做某动作，则该动作要用不定词 to be 来表示。例如 ，Josephine got her students to work harder。乔瑟芬要学生更用功。
Hi everyone, we are back, but not for long. You see, it is time for a break. Don't go away though. We'll be back soon. Soon. Good idea. I have the app on my phone. What do you want to order? I'm not sure. Let's check the shops around here and look at their menus. Hey, your favorite dumpling shop is here. Cool. I'm so hungry. I could eat 50 of those. Okay, I'll get us some soup too. Explanation 2 Welcome back to this month's Trends and Fads lesson. The title of our lesson is Food Delivery, an easy and popular way to get food. Hmm. Monica and Jerome are at home. There is no food in the house and it is raining outside. Mm -hmm. Also, Jerome is hungry. He's starving. Oh, and uh, Monica doesn't want to go out in the rain. Hmm. Now that I think of it, this is a perfect time to get some food delivered. Yep. Yeah. Jerome and Monica are going to get delivery from a company called ABC Meals. Anyway, before the break, Jerome had said, let's get ABC Meals to deliver food to us. Mm, right. Monica, we learn, thinks that this is a good idea. Good idea, she says. Then she adds the following good news. I have the app on my phone. Oh. How convenient. That should make ordering easy. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, here's the question. What do you want to order? This is what Monica asks Jerome next. Jerome answers her by saying, Huh, I'm not sure. Let's check the shops around here and look at their menus. I guess he's going to look at the menus for these places on the app. That should help him figure out what he wants to order. Right, but before he has a chance to look, Monica finds something. She says, hey, your favorite dumpling shop is here. Jerome <laughs> likes what Monica just said. He says, cool, I'm so hungry, I could eat 50 of those, 50 dumplings. Wow. 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 Anyways, it sounds like Jerome has made his decision already. That was fast. Yes, it was. Anyway, in the final lines of today's dialogue, Monica starts ordering. She says, Hmm. Okay, I'll get us some soup too. Sounds like a plan. Okay, everyone. With that, part one of Trends and Fads is now finished, and it is time for a break. See you next time. Bye-bye. Food delivery, an easy and popular way to get food. Jerome and Monica are at home on a rainy night. I am starving, but there is no food in the house. Sorry, but I'm not going out in this rain. I know. Let's get ABC Meals to deliver food to us. Good idea. I have the app on my phone. What do you want to order? I'm not sure. Let's check the shops around here and look at their menus. Hey, your favorite dumpling shop is here. Cool. I'm so hungry. I could eat 50 of those. Okay, I'll get us some soup too. Hi,欢迎来到教爱讲英文,我是Holly。我是Steven,那今天这个主题呢,非常适合Holly。为什么呢?因为他常常在跟他讲话的时候,他会突然,哈?因为他根本没有在认真听我讲话。所以我们今天
I'm confused. Could you tell me again? 我觉得很疑惑哎，你可以再说一次吗 ？OK， so I'm confused， 就是 I 我不懂。OK，、嗯、Could you tell me again？ 你可以再跟我说一次吗 ？OK， 好，下一个呢，很适合就是一种很笨的那种人，<笑>就是比如说你讲了那么大串，然后他这样子<笑> ，I don't get it。<笑>我我干嘛？哎，我我不懂哎。Yeah, I don't get it。然后就嚼口香糖，然后一直在玩头发。<笑>没有啊 ，I don't get it 呢。Get 就是抓到，他抓不到那个点，他就是不懂。说、mm. so, I don't get it 是一个常常的英文，会听到人家如果不懂你的意思说 I don't get it。对， mm. 比较不会说 I don't get you， 除非你真的很不懂这个人。嗯、uh, ，对 ，I don't get you。I don't get you 这个有点不太礼貌哎。对对，就是 like 你你怎么会这样子？你的所有一切我都不懂的意思。<笑>这不是只是说我不懂你刚刚讲的那一句话 ，OK？ 好，下一个呢也是一个蛮啊，对，就是这样子，<笑>对，就是如果你真的听不懂，啊啊 ，OK， 他也可以很轻，你刚刚那个时候一种是很像你有点难就渐听嘛，对，<笑>对其实是啊啊啊，对，还配上呆滞的表情啊。对，<笑>听起来比较没礼貌。<笑>那如果是真的，哈，<笑>那人家会觉得你的态度会让人就觉得你很想跟他打架，还是怎样？对啊，很熟的朋友就算了啦。对啊，对啊。OK， 好，下一个呢是 What？What？ What? 对，搭配一个很疑惑的表情。但如果你今天是真的没有听到，你可能是 What？ 这样子、嗯。那如果你今天听到你，你已经知道他讲什么，你只是觉得你再讲一次，这样 What？What？ 对，所以是态度，<笑>我们来示范一下疑惑的 What？ 然后想跟人家吵架的 what what 你看差很多，<笑>一样的一个字可以有那么多的一样的、嗯、意思，真的蛮厉害的。好，下一个呢是，如果今天你看的一个东西你不懂，还是你听的一个东西你不懂，我们在英文有的时候会说 ，This is all Greek to me. 啊、ah, ，Greek 其实就是希腊文、嗯，所以我们根本就看不懂希腊文是什么东西、啊。你有看过希腊文吗？ Maybe 我去查，他真的很像是，对不起，希腊人，很像外星人会写出那种的 symbol， <笑>就是那个符号，对那些符号，他们语言很漂亮，写出来很漂亮，但是对我们来说看到我们完、就是、对完全不知道他到底写什么，所以我们会说 This is all Greek to me， 就是我完全看不懂看不懂的意思。嗯、all right， so today 我们都是有学到一些听不懂可以再说一遍吗的一些英文句、嗯、，so let's go into。Live action. Huh? Hmm? Hey, what happened? I I don't know. Like people said I was too mean, but I tried. I like I really tried. I'm just like I don't know. Like she said that. To okay, me. okay. Take it easy. But I'm confused. Could you tell me again? To be honest, I've already broken up with Jane. What? I don't get it. I thought you make such a great pair. Do you know how to reset the phone? Sure. Just go to settings, then choose General, and scroll down to the bottom. Then you'll find Reset there. Wait. Slow down, please. This is all Greek to me. Well, it's just. D E, I'm confused. Could you tell me again? D E, I don't get it. D E, huh? D E, what? D E, this is all Greek to me. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们一分钟的单元。在这一分钟的时间里面，我们要复习四个单词，还会造四个例句。同学们准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。好，第一个单词呢，它可以用来表达点餐、订餐，这次是动词，它叫做 order。Order. He ordered a burger and a large coke. 他点了一个汉堡跟大杯的可乐。好，第二单词呢是菜单，大家都会把菜单叫做 menu。menu。He always orders the cheapest items on the menu。他总是点菜单上面最便宜的东西。好，第三个单词叫做饺子，好吃的饺子，这怎么说呢？叫做 dumpling。dumpling。We ordered thirty shrimp 
dumplings， 我们点了三十个虾饺。好，第四个单词呢，它是汤，汤要怎么说呢？叫做 soup。Soup, 你就记得喝汤的时候会，所以有那个 soup 的音。OK, Mom added two spoons of sugar to the sweet potato soup. 妈妈在地瓜汤里面加了两汤匙的糖。好，太好啦！我们轻轻松松就在一分钟之内复习完四个单词哦。同学们要多多复习，多多知道去练习哦。那我们下次见了，拜拜。